Γεια σας, this is the Greek Reporter Weekly News. Greek police arrested two men and detained at least six others suspicious for terrorist activity. The arrests were made after the discovery of weapons in a garage in the Nea Smyrni area of Athens. According to police statement, a number of detentions have been carried out in the course of extensive investigations by the anti-terrorist police department. Greece currently has two known active far-left extremist groups, Revolutionary Sect and Conspiracy of Fire Nuclei. Revolutionary Sect is believed to possess a large arsenal. Police has so far failed to crack the terrorist group, which claimed responsibility for the assassination of a 37-year-old journalist a few months ago. In sports, Greece's Olympic hopefuls will be forced to rely on handouts from the International Olympic Committee. The state has made cutbacks in funding for their London 2012 preparations. Just six years after hosting the Olympic Games, the Greek government has decided to halt funding for the country's elite athletes preparing to compete in London. But the decision, which follows the austerity measures put in place to deal with the Greek economic crisis, has forced the Hellenic Olympic Committee to seek aid from IOC's Olympic Solidarity Program. And now some news from the USA. The St. Nicholas Greek Orthodox Church that was destroyed on 9-11 may sue the New York Port Authority for the right to rebuild their house of worship, a church spokesman stated. Negotiations over how and where to rebuild the church stalled nearly two years ago and the two sides have not spoken since. Meanwhile, the Port Authority has announced plans to build an underground parking garage and loading dock for the World Trade Center where the church used to stand. Mark Ari, a spokesman for the church, said, The site of St. Nicholas, which is the property of the church, has been used by the Port Authority for over a year and we never authorized them to do that. He added that the Greek Orthodox Archdiocese of America is looking at legal action very seriously. In Hollywood, Corky Ballas, the Greek-American of Dancing with the Stars, gave an exclusive interview to Greek Reporter. He talks to us about his Greek heritage, his son Mark Ballas, and his dancing partner Bristol Palin, daughter of Sarah Palin. In our interview, he admitted that he would be okay if Mark ever decided to marry Bristol. Corky's family has a strong tradition in dancing. His dad, who was the son of Greek immigrants, used to have the largest dancing studio in the US. Corky also states that all Greeks have dancing in their blood. On to Australia. The tragic play Electra, written by Sophocles, will be performed in the Foots Craze Dog Theatre in Melbourne. The director of the play is Adina Jacobs. Jane Montgomery Griffiths stars in the production along with other famous Australian actors. It is the first time that Adina Jacobs has directed a Greek tragedy. Her goal is to show the importance of memory and life experience to different generations. In Europe, English, Germans, French and Russians keep Greek luxury real estate prices high. According to an article in the financial newspaper Handelsblatt concerning the real estate market in southern Europe, the current financial recession did not seem to affect prices of land and luxury real estate in popular regions. German broker-dealer Peter Greinmann adds that prices in Greece, particularly in Chalkidiki, a region located in northern Greece, did not reach extravagant levels as they did in Spain and Croatia. In Greece, prices tend to be stable, in spite of financial crisis. Real estate businessman Vasilis Kokinos states that the greatest interest for buying property in Greece is shown by northern Europeans. The Peloponnese is still the Germans' number one choice. Now, some news from Africa. Three Greeks were arrested for drug trafficking in Zambia. Lukas Avraham, 39, and his brother Nikolaos Avraham, 37, are both Greek nationals. They were arrested at their McKinney homes after they were found with different quantities of cocaine. Gavril Avraham, who was also arrested, is believed to be a Greek national, but he claims to be a South African. The police also found in their possession 13 ivory pieces and pornographic material. They are currently in police custody and will appear in court shortly. For more news and updates, visit GreekReporter.com. And remember, Greeks are everywhere.